This episode is brought to you by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. eBay knows that when it comes to jewelry, authenticity is the real gem. When you see the blue check mark that says Authenticity Guarantee, it means your next piece will be carefully inspired by jewelry experts and will always be worth its weight in gold. Whether you're looking to make a statement or build the perfect everyday look, eBay is making sure you get the real deal. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, you can trust that jaw-dropping piece will always arrive jaw-droppingly real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. This episode is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. All right, it's official. I think I've discovered the ultimate coupling of all time. Like any good relationship, they really balance each other out. One is super sweet, and the other... Well, they can be a little nutty sometimes. It is, of course, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of peanut butter and chocolate. So perfect, some would call it true love. Find Reese's now at a store near you. I'm Yasi Salek, and I'm the host of Bandsplain, a show where we explain cult bands and iconic artists by going deep into their histories and discographies. We're back with a brand new season at our brand new home, the Ringer Podcast Network tackling a whole new batch of artists, from grunge gods to power pop pioneers to new metal legends, and many, many more. Listen to new episodes every Thursday, only on Spotify. Welcome to Bachelor Party. I'm Juliette Littman. I'm here in person for the first time ever in person with Callie Curry. Callie, hi. Hi, I'm excited to hear what this sounds like. Me too, I think it'll sound better. Yeah. I just also am like really, <laughs> just a real thrill. It's a real cozy room. You just had a big tease, which is you have something you have to get off your chest. So let's yeah, hear it. Yeah, I don't think we can say anything okay. without addressing that narwhals are real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty tough for us. I have never... Me neither. It was the most feedback I've ever it received. It was chaotic. <laughs> My DMs, I've I've seen more pictures of narwhals and sent articles and information and even people that like I'm like at this point you have to know I know that it's real. <laughs> They still want to send me that they're real. And I feel incredibly stupid because we went on for a little bit about how they're mythical creatures. So obviously are bad. Well, yes, are bad. (laughs) But I just wanted to add a few things to that. First of all, I believe Genevieve said they're the unicorn of the ocean. Yeah. So does she know they're real? Yeah. Also, not a great description. No, definitely not. I've learned about narwhal since. Their tusk is actually a tooth. Mm -hmm. Helps them fish. Learn that too. (laughs) Um, I like the people who are like, just FYI, I want to let you know they live in the Canadian Arctic or the Canadian, like they have the Canadian Arctic. But some people were like really trying to shame us. And I don't, I don't appreciate you. Well, also I'm like, they were acting like it's common knowledge. Right. And I'm like, it's not. Justin didn't know what it was either. <laughs> I wouldn't say that Justin is dumb. Like it's not common knowledge. People don't talk about narwhals. Maybe they're studied now in school. Clearly they are because four-year-olds know what they are. Well, But they weren't when I was in school. I can guarantee I have never been taught about a narwhal until the last week. I Same here. I also have never really like thought about narwhals. But someone pointed out to me one of the reasons we might think they're mythical is because in the beginning of Elf, when Will Ferrell's walking from the North Pole to New York, he like sees some fake narwhals, which I thought was a really kind way of putting it. And I was like, yeah, that did, that is a good point. Seems no. fake. No, I thought they were <laughs> fake because they're used for like, the only time I've ever seen or heard of a narwhal is like in the same context of unicorn. Right, like like beef. Yeah, but like even my kids' like stuff, like the animated stuff, it's all like, oh, this is narwhals and this is unicorns. So of course I was like, oh, it's like a whale unicorn. It's fake, whatever. Also, like four days after that episode came out mm-hmm. and was I was bombarded with like the narwhal hive. <laughs> Same. It's a really vocal part of of the world, apparently. I was pouring my daughter Fruit Loops. Uh-huh. And on the back of the box, she goes, Look, Mama Narwhal. Oh my God. And I was like, What? And like in my head, I'm like, is this like, am I being punked right now? Did they get to my daughter and ha- like want her to push is it in my face? Is your daughter a plant? That she, that She's she in the knows what a narwhal the bachelor. is. And I turned the 
the the cereal box around and there is a narwhal on the cereal box. <laughs> but it is also a cartoon and has a rainbow horn. So like me seeing that, I'm like, oh yeah, it's like fake. But obviously now I know it's real. But the fact that she knew what it was, I was just like, and I've, she's talked about them before, but I always just thought they were. Where is she like encountering narwhals? I think they do a lot of animal studies in pre-K. Okay. A I, lot. I must have skipped pre-K because I don't know anything about animals. Like literally... Very little. Well, you probably also maybe just don't remember your four-year-old life. Also, <laughs> she has the Smithsonian like animal encyclopedia. Oh, cool. And her and Seth, I accidentally ordered two of them. And so her and Seth like <laughs> go page by page together. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, they really like it. So that's I'm sweet. I'm like, I was wondering like maybe from that. Sounds like a good gift. Yeah. No, it actually is for kids. Like I would say from like four to like okay. eight. There's okay. so many animals in it. It's all pictures. And then there's like information about the animals on each one. Well, thank you to everyone who let yeah. us know. Just didn't think we could start the pod without addressing You're right. That. And I also had forgotten, I think because I was embarrassed, I was trying to push it out. So I, I would I never remember. I still get messages. Me too. Me too. It's not stopped. I get it. We, we were wrong, but we, we're here to acknowledge it. Now we're ready yeah. to move on. I just didn't realize that narwhals were like on the same playing field as like a tiger. Like, we should know what an Arwal is as much as anyone should know what a tiger is. Well, That's the amount of responses I got. I think I need a Disney movie with a narwhal to really, like, I feel like the lions, I always think of the Lion King. Yeah. Well, I'm something. not going to say there's not a Disney movie because then we're going to get bombarded by, like, oh, you don't know about Joey the narwhal? Like, there might be a narwhal movie somewhere. It seems like a great name for a narwhal. Joey the narwhal. Before we move on, just in general, you mentioned Justin. Justin, in general... I have a really different perspective on now that I've heard his voice. Like, I just feel like he, though he spoke on Katie's season. Yeah. I mean, he, he made it to Final Four. I know, but very <laughs> little airtime for him. Yeah. But now that I'm like familiar with his voice, I just, I have a different impression of him. I think it's just like much higher than I was expecting or something. And I don't know. One of, I, one of my morals of the story of Paradise so far is like, Maybe let's not get to know everyone because people are nuts. Uh, yeah. There's, I feel like people are more nuts. Like, Kira came across fine. Jill Shh. came across perfectly fine. Yeah. Like, you mean after one episode? No, no, no. I mean, in their bachelor season. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Like, we didn't really get to know them. No, not like, at all. They seemed somewhat stable. Yeah, they seem like regular people. In, Especially Kira, who we were like, oh, she's got to be great, doctor. Yeah, now like the level of unhinged <laughs> we're seeing is kind of concerning. The way that they were talking about the first 48 hours, like, and so oh many of them were doing gosh. this. We're like, I talked to you all day yesterday and now but, today I've been blindsided. It's like, or, guys, it's 48 fucking hours. Yeah, which J Justin addressed... And your boo, who's Romeo, like literally, he's not my boo. Up in flames, just because right his now. name is Romeo. Romeo, he's not my boo. Both of them, I feel, which Wells even kind of said, it's just been like I don't really understand. I know things go faster there, sure. right? But like them being like, I've literally put all my eggs in your basket the entire time we've been <laughs> here, know. and the it's two, two guys, days. yeah, and the two guys are like, what? Well, we've been here. For 48 hours. Also, like, for Justin, he's like, we've been here 48 hours, and for 14 of those, I was on a date with someone else. <laughs> great point. Like, it's a great those point. dates last all day. Yeah. So I'm like... Plus getting ready for them. It's, it's a yeah. big commitment. I also hate that it seems it's one way. Like, it's... Right now, it's yes. all the women. Yes. I was Obviously, thinking about the men that. have the roses, but even, like, now it's switch, and it's still just... I guess they showed Justin sulking a little bit by the end, but like... And Andrew being upset about Teddy, kind that's, of. That was... We'll come back to yeah, that. Yeah. That, that, that requires different. a long investigation. Yeah, yeah, that was different. But yeah, I'm just like... I think I texted you and was just like, this is a lot. They've all just like lost their bearings completely. I guess they're so focused on each other before it starts that they just jump in right away. But yeah. I also liked that they were referencing stagecoach and sort of like things that were happening outside. I did like that because like, I feel like in past they've, in the past, like I feel like the producers have been like, you cannot mention yes. anything outside of the show. They have to embrace it. But yeah, things are going to happen. These these people are hanging out. Yes. There's nothing you can do about it. So like at and least- And if it's on social media, you really yeah, can't ignore it. So addressing kind of like what's happened before, I appreciate it. I like the background context because otherwise like we don't know. Yeah. 
It was just with a lot of Justin. We'll come back to him. We got to start with Romeo, though. Biggest implosion of the week. I mean, <sighs> Romeo weeping. I, you know, it's good to be in touch with your emotions, but I'm just like, what was he weeping over? Being rejected by Britney? No, no, no. I think it was a manipulation tactic. I don't think he was actually oh, crying. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So you like, don't think that was real? He was just like... No, oh, I do think he was actually crying, but I think he was making himself cry. Like, he... <laughs> oh, my God. So you think he's, like, devious? I think he was embarrassed and was like, what can I do to get someone to accept a rose from wow. me? Wow. So I think it was more desperate than devious. Okay, interesting. He seemed very desperate. But for him to cry to... Kira, Kira yeah. first, and then he like went up and started crying to Haley Bailey, and like even Haley Bailey was like, "Oh, okay, okay." Like she was just like, "I don't even know what to do with you." <laughs> Haley Bailey, who needed a rose, she wasn't even. No. she wasn't even like, "Okay, way, I'll accept this." All those women needed roses. I know. Kira needed a rose. Jill needed a rose. Haley Bailey needed a rose, and all of them were like, "No thanks." I know. So and Jill and Kira, I, I, it's totally understandable. Yeah, like. Although I think Joel is like being a little bit harsh. I, Kira, I think is actually the most understandable, but he kind of was like a dick to her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying I can understand Jill because Romeo just the way he handled the Britney situation was insane. I felt so, so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. It was so uncomfortable. It was awful. She also like told you I might be open to this, but you have to have a conversation with Jill first. Which, by the way. Five stars for Britney. Uh, Britney seems great. Britney <laughs> seems like someone I could actually be friends with. Absolutely. So normal. So normal. She's handling it how I would... Obviously, you think you're going to act one way. I'm sure a lot of these women and men want to come across a certain way and they just get down there and lose control. Yeah. Which, obviously, they're served like tons of alcohol. They're outside. They're forced to film all day. Like, they're never in their rooms. They don't have AC. Like, these are not... <laughs> Easy conditions. The lack of AC would also yeah. be so horrible for me. I would just be, I would be in the water the whole time. Not me, but I would just be sweating the whole time. Ugh, horrible. I, maybe in the pool. I'd be in the pool. Yeah. I don't sure. want to say it's harsh conditions, but we're getting there. For me, these are, <laughs> these are harsh adjacent. I have a really, I have to like wean myself off of sleeping with air conditioning on in winter. Like I'm just like, oh. I, like when I, like last night, it was like kind of chilly here in New York and I was like, I'm still hot. I need the air conditioning. Yeah, we're still, we're still, our ACs are st still on. Really? Although our living room tends to get much colder. Yeah, because you have so many freaking windows. Yeah, but my bedroom's all windows too. Well, maybe it's just a smaller space. Whatever. Yeah, so in the morning, I always have to put my heater on. <laughs> In I, so I am very similarly sensitive to climate. I'm like, yeah. I need it all. Yeah. And but it does get to a certain degree here where you truly do not need Tracy. Oh, yeah. Like in like a month or two. But like, but then yeah, I, I get hot too. With heat. <laughs> yeah. It's really rough in January. But anyway, Romeo just totally, him and Brittany, the whiplash, like I was just confused. Like it's only been 48 hours, but you would also just think that like he would like let it lie for a minute. No. But he went so quickly from, Jill, Kira, Jill, Brittany. Mm -hmm. Also, why, even if you did really like Brittany, why would she believe that? Like, there's no reason for her to, like, think Romeo's genuine or, like, being intentional because he's been so all over the place. I would be fine with Romeo if he had a conversation with Brittany and was just like, hey, like, we've I've kind of gotten to have a few conversations with you. Would you be open to getting to know me? Like, the point of Paradise is to have a lot of conversations but having to ask, are you willing to get to know me is also such a weird... Well, at this I, it's point, like, like if you're like kind of coupled up, yeah, it's even like a, though they're not like boyfriend and girlfriend, she, I, I can understand him asking to, to be like, obviously, you know, I've spent time with Jill. Are you open to getting to know me? If she says no, keep it moving. If she says <laughs> yes, then go have a conversation with Jill and be like, I just want to be clear. I, I, I want you to... This is usually what the guys do, especially. I mean, no, women do it too. They're like... I want you to get to know other people. Yeah. They put it on the other person first. And so then the other person's like, oh, because clearly you want to get to know other people. <laughs> so I think he could have done that and gone back. But her being like, I might be open, but you need to have a conversation with Jill. And in his, in his head, he's like, okay, cool. Let me try to kiss her. That like, was, why did you try to kiss her? Maybe he likes making out. 
Yeah, but like she just said, you have to go. Like I she know. didn't say yes. If there was no. It was he was like so laser focused on it. He clearly wasn't listening. Uh, yeah, or maybe, he, maybe he didn't hear what she said. I don't think he did because he probably was just like, I need to like wait for the right angle to go in for the kiss or whatever. Ugh. I mean, which was so embarrassing because her face was literally like Ooh. she curved him so hard. Yeah, which I mean, I would have done the same thing. So I was very appreciative. She's and, great. Yeah, she's she's, she really she's definitely is. like my favorite person in paradise as of now. Uh, yeah. The other person for me who I'm really surprised by, I like Casey. I like, can't I mean, believe it. <laughs> he's just not giving me enough, but I do like Casey. He's like, he's a good narrator. And yeah. I'm just surprised he's kind of like hanging on the, the way that he is. Yeah. I, I mean, he's a good looking guy. I feel like he has like the one liners in the background, but not, he's not trying to be the star of the show, it doesn't seem. No. I would say the other person that, or couple, Michael yeah. A. and Sierra, to me, I'm like... Seems real. Seems yeah. legit. Their conversations are just normal. Like, these are the conversations you have when you're trying to see, is this going to be something? Yeah, totally. Um, Obviously, it's happening faster than it would in real life. But I'm like, yeah, this is like, especially for him, these are the conversations that he needs to have to see if it's worth it or not. Yeah. And, and she, she seems is like, shining. She's a great listener. Oh, my. A great listener. But also even the stuff she's saying yeah. back. I'm like, I don't know if she's like, I would have these answers. I know. Like, she's like she, very mature. It's it's impressive. Yeah. She also seems fun and like just like a good hang. I really don't have anything bad to say about Me Sierra. Me neither. On top of her skin. <laughs> on top of how beautiful she is. Yeah. Can I ask you a question about Sierra? This applies to all of the women. Yeah. What is with this bikini trend? I saw someone say that it's been a trend for a long time, like at least a year or two. Like it just looked like their boobs maybe were before smushed. the pandemic, maybe like, three years. I guess like if you have big boobs, that's clearly not working for you. But like you, know, you can still do it with big boobs; they just have to be perky. Okay, well, like that's also hard to accomplish yeah. unless you're like very, <laughs> well, I mean, a lot very of, young, pretty yeah, children. But a lot maybe of women have lift. fake boobs. Yeah, that's true. If you have fake boobs, it's like the perfect bikini. It's really cute. I guess. I think but their boobs yeah. look smushed. Or small boobs, you're fine, too. Like, Genevieve is a major proponent of this, and I, she's clearly, she keeps uh, pulling at it. Yeah. I notice, because I'm like, oh, that looks uncomfortable, and she doesn't seem she like She might be self-conscious enjoying. about it. Yeah. I mean, like, she looks good. Yeah, she yeah, looks yeah. Bad. But I mean, like, if she might just may want to make sure everything's tucked in. But that's also just another look that I'm like, sweat-wise, that's going to produce a lot of boob sweat, because you're, like, pushing Putting your boobs down. up against your body. Yeah. yeah. When it's really hot. I don't know. I just... I had I didn't see this on the, on the beaches yeah, this summer. Yeah, I think that there's not a lot of women on this show. I'm trying to think if there's any with big boobs, with big boobs that aren't fake. I don't think so. Yeah, so. Also, I think from my stocking of reality people, yes. A lot of these bathing suits are oh. JMP. Never heard of it. Juliet Porter from oh, Siesta Key, yeah. her brand. Yeah. Oh, got it. A lot of them are her brand. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. So they probably got it for free and were like... I, I'm sure she supplied like tons of bathing suits for right. this because a lot of them are wearing them. Right. Yeah, they all do some wearing the same thing. Mm-hmm. And like, they, they all look good. But yeah, I'm, they're I was cute. Just, I'm I think like, it's actually like a great... I don't know whose idea it was because it's two different... um, Like MTV and C- ABC. Yeah. ABC. Are separate. So I don't really know. But yeah. She great idea. But there was also like crossover. Remember Robbie? Is that his name? Oh, yeah. Went on. Oh, I don't yeah. know. These realities. Dated Juliet, actually. Yeah, they find each other. Yeah. So whatever. Interesting. I was it, it does it was really noticeable this week just because of like everyone Someone wearing them. Tweeted, I think both of us. Yeah. About and, it. And I also like I saw it referred to as the upside down bathing suit trend. And I yeah. was just like, is that upside down? I was just no, like backwards. I mean, I think you can wear it both ways. Like bathing suits you buy that way, you can wear them both ways. Um, but it's been a trend for a long time. Also <laughs> weird that I didn't even notice it. Well, maybe because you're so used yeah, to it. Yeah, I know. But when I saw the tweet, I was like, oh, yeah, a lot of them are. But like, I didn't even watching it. It just looked like it does seem something what like, people would wear. It seems like something that like started out as like a Sports Illustrated like swimsuit thing <sighs> and then just became like mainstream. I think it started. I don't know, like the first person, but I think it started out as someone actually just flipping their bathing suit and it looked cute. So now they're making bathing suits that are like that. I have a bathing suit that's upside down. Got it. I don't even understand it, but okay, cool. I mean, I just like <laughs> that would never work with my boobs. So you I mean, should try it. I think it's it, yeah. I think you think it's I'm telling you, when, it went less hard. secure than you think. Okay. I just think it would look bad. I don't know. It doesn't. Maybe I should get a, a breast lift and then try it. Well, <laughs> I am a big, I have not gotten one, but I think when I'm 
100% sure I'm done with kids. Yeah. I will get a lift. Not a enhancement because yeah. I don't like big boobs. Well, yeah. Well, this is personally. This is, we can do a whole boob podcast <laughs> yeah. one time. Anyway, I was just back to Romeo. We'll, we'll close close the book on him. But I, I don't, just him giving Teddy the rose. I mean, not Teddy. Sorry, he gave it to no. He gave it to Jill, and he is like for fresh starts. And she just basically like, yeah, I'm gonna accept this to stay. Great move by her. Yeah, of course. What she should I do. I would have said that earlier. I would have told him. Yeah, but like, I don't even know where he goes from here. Like, there, there's but no way he's sticking around. I know where he's going. Where home? home. Yeah. <laughs> Like, not one woman on that show is even going to, like, vouch for him. So unless they get, like, a crazy down there that's just, like, open, it's not going to happen. I'm kind of sad Kira's gone. I, I could have used a little bit more Kira. She didn't even get to go to the Boom Boom Room. She was talking about it so much. Maybe she went with Sally. I Sally's. think it's better for her career that she's home. You're probably right. She probably went with Sally's uh, vibrator. By the way, what the fuck? Let's talk about the Sally situation. So you may remember Sally as the woman who broke up with Clayton before yeah. the season started. And then her luggage arrived, but she wasn't there. And her luggage was open and inside of it was her vibrator turned on. I just like find it really hard to believe that's her vibrator. I think what must have happened is her... The producers like just like planted luggage yeah. with a vibrator turned on. Yes. I don't know why. It maybe it was hers. I don't think so. Like I think it was all fake. Probably. I mean, you're probably right. Like, uh, but I don't even understand. Like it wasn't even packed nicely. She looks like an organized person. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> why would they even? There's no packing cubes. Don't these people know about packing cubes? I'm not a packing cubes type of person, but I like everything. Oh my god. Organized. Get on board, Callie. It's revolutionary. Awesome. <sighs> You'll love it, especially with kids. Um, I would think. Anyway, <laughs> I can't believe that they just like made this up. I just sort of like something must have happened with Sally to like fill in the gaps. And then they just like took it too far with this Wells oh enhancement. My gosh. Um, that, this, reenactment, this whole not enhancement. bit was bizarre. I know. I don't. I, it also was like long. It was like at least yeah, two minutes. And yeah. I was just like, just tell us what happened. Obviously, we did not watch with commercials. But, like, I was thinking, like, is this an entire, like, like segment? segment? Yeah. I would be pissed. And it's just, like, not that interesting. Also, no one knows Sally. I wonder if the only reason they did that was because they wanted to be able to address Justin and Sally having been together or hooked up or whatever at um, Stagecoach. Yeah. But Genevieve could have just said it. Like, I'm worried about Sally coming down, like, in the context of other people coming down. Yeah. They didn't have to have all there that. There was literally no point. No. Also... I did kind of like that they had the vibrator that I was like, sure, normalize that. That's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't care about that. I was just like, what is happening? This is not real. And, and then her I, going into the boom boom room really was disgusting. Because like, let's just pretend it's real. That's <laughs> next level. Yeah, it's so next gross. level. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, shit. Kira, what is happening? Like, oh, God. If she wanted to bring her own vibrator and go into the boom boom room, do you? Sure. But, yeah. Like, why are you volunteering to be the girl that pretends to take another woman's vibrator? I know. And See, also just like doing obviously anything that the producers, producers ask for. Yeah. I guess she just wanted to be on TV. I don't know. I, I get the impression really Kira's at a crossroads in her life trying to figure out where to go. And Maybe, she's hoping to get like, some clarity here. I hope that's that. Because otherwise I'm like, I don't really get what your decision making process is right now. Me neither. And like, is this helping her in any way? I don't no. know. Maybe someone will see her on TV and be like, wow, she seems like a great girlfriend or she's a oh, freak I mean, yeah maybe that <laughs> i mean definitely but not physician. definitely not for doctor no yeah, absolutely no. Not. she's I, I don't know i just i hope it stays fun without her she definitely provided a lot through yeah. two and a half episodes yeah but it was too like gimmicky for me that's true fair enough she's she's out i, I hope that she has her own vibrator she's, and she's happy with her she's happy somewhere seriously doing something <laughs> last note on romeo i noticed i mentioned this last week i like follow his social media really closely oh. He's been having like watch parties, like going to bars with people. And I cannot believe he's willing to adore watching this publicly. Like that's like I mean, I shocking he doesn't to know me. The edit. Yeah, but he knows his behavior. He knows how much yeah. he cried. Like yeah. and not that there's anything wrong with crying, but in this instance, it was pretty weird and like embarrassing. He's just confusing. Also, gotta say, not a great week for Harvard. No, definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> like, what? This is who you produced. I mean, they're it's, better than some other famous alums. That's for sure. I mean, yeah, they're definitely not like bottom of the barrel, but yeah. I would not. 
Yeah, it's not like great advertisement. It's not clever. No. Neither came across as like particularly dignified. So, no, not great. Also, in both of their seasons, they were fine. Yeah, they were like, just they like quiet. Just walked away and been fine. People with like good careers, so like, what I guess it's a judgmental thing. People with careers, period, don't go into paradise. It's just not going to be good for you. By the way, what does Romeo do? Do we know? Yes, he, of course I know. I sure. know everything about yeah, him. What does he do? <laughs> He's a data scientist at a fintech company. And he has like a PhD, not like he does. He's legit. Uh, he didn't need this. It's definitely not going to help at work. Yeah, I guess this is not a good assumption. Like my assumption is that someone that's smart would have more emotional intelligence, but clearly they're two separate things. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I hope he figures some things out for himself. It's not looking good. Let's. This episode is brought to you by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. eBay knows that when it comes to jewelry, authenticity is the real gem. When you see the blue check mark that says Authenticity Guarantee, it means your next piece will be carefully inspired by jewelry experts and will always be worth its weight in gold. Whether you're looking to make a statement or build the perfect everyday look, eBay is making sure you get the real deal. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, you can trust that jaw-dropping piece will always arrive jaw-droppingly real. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. This episode is brought to you by Visible. Maybe you've already let your New Year's resolution slip. We all have, but you can still make a two years resolution with Visible. Right now, you can get a one-line wireless plan from Visible for just $20 per month for 24 months. 24 months is basically four bachelor seasons. That could be four engagements, four broken engagements, so many other couples we didn't see them coming. It's really an eternity in Bachelor Nation. And that's unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon with no annual contracts. Switch now at Visible.com and use the code Visible24. Don't miss out. Offer ends January 31st. New members only. Promotional rate with service on the Visible plan. For additional terms and network management practices, see Visible.com. This episode is brought to you by State Farm. You might say all kinds of stuff when things go wrong, but these are the words you really need to remember. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They've got options to fit your unique insurance needs, meaning you can talk to your agent to choose the coverage you need, have coverage options to protect the things you value most, file a claim right on the State Farm mobile app, and even reach a real person when you need to talk to someone. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Move on. My biggest surprise of the week, I, by the way, I just like made up my own superlatives, forgot to tell you, sorry. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> my biggest surprise of the week is that I genuinely enjoy Shanae. I'm yeah. just like, Shanae is a fun TV character. Yeah, she's doing much better. She really is. I'm wondering, do you remember there was the other woman on that show? Cassidy. Cassidy. She sucks. So the more... Cassidy had like the boyfriend or something. Yeah. The more I'm watching Paradise, and maybe this will change. But okay. as of right now, I'm like, maybe Cassidy was the problem and was like manipulating Shanae and like kind of brainwashing her to think one thing that wasn't there. And so then Shanae kind of was like defensive and was going against all the women. So I wonder if Cassidy wasn't there, if Shanae would have been better. But yeah, from the beginning. Obviously, Shanae did some fucked up shit. So I'm not saying that she was like completely like if well, nothing was her fault. But I feel like if she was painted a picture of something that maybe wasn't actually there. It made her act in a way that maybe she wouldn't have otherwise. If that also, makes sense. Also, maybe Sinead just needs attention to thrive. Like, it's like, I you need... said that last week. I yeah. need air and food. She might need attention. And she's getting a lot of it. Yeah, by the way, what? I'm so confused. <laughs> With the two, two guys? <laughs> I mean, in general, like, even when she walked down to the beach, everyone was like, wow, she's way prettier in person. She some, definitely looks prettier in person. Like, Michael A. was like, her eyes, I was not expecting that. Some people are better looking in person. Doesn't yeah, translate. Yeah, but... <sighs> Does she look good enough for them to just not care about... Like, she looked horrible in Clayton season. Yeah, I think she probably got a glow up. She also, I think she's like, I don't think she looks pretty, th like, she looks very much the same. But maybe in me. person, she's like, maybe she's like, her makeup's better. Like, she's just like shit she, like that. Yeah, maybe. She doesn't even look like she wears a lot of makeup. I think she's actually just really pretty. Me too. I think yeah. she's pretty and I think she looks good. But, yeah. And like, she's not ugly. I mean, like, she's pretty on TV. Her like, personality I think makes her less look, attractive. Yes. But she's like an objectively pretty woman. She's really fit. And I she's probably she's, prettier in person. So yeah. she's definitely pretty. Like, 
I can't imagine that every guy has basically said she's pretty and all of a sudden she's not pretty. So I do think she's actually pretty in person. I always felt the way about Nani from the challenge. You think she's prettier in person? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because people are like so like mad. Drawn to her. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, Nani's personality is different though. I think her personality probably helps. But yeah, it's shocking to me that there's like, I'm like, she must look that good that guys are like, I don't really care about what happened on Clayton season. Yeah. Well, they also probably didn't watch. Yeah, maybe. It, it had just happened. Yeah. And I just think those guys probably like are, are less interested. Like but I on think, the flip side, like if a guy comes down, Logan definitely benefited from no one watching. Definitely. But <laughs> if a guy came down, like there's been guys in the past that came down. What was that one guy's name? Like maybe it was Blake who come down and it's like kind of like, oh, no thanks. Or what was the, the motivational speaker's name? Oh, the motivational speaker. Jamie? No. <laughs> Oh, oh, the motivational speaker. Shit, what was his name? You know I can't. What I'm talking about? Yeah, we were like looking up how much he cost. I can't remember what his uh, name was. But like they came down and both decent looking guy. And I felt like everyone was kind of like, no, not giving him a shot. Yeah, it's true. So well, I'm having a hard time keeping track of which guys are from Katie's season and which guys are from Michelle's season. And yeah. because they, those two like really blend together for me. Also, like they all kind of have stayed friends. Yeah. Right. So when Rodney came down, I was like, doesn't Andrew know him? Yeah. I, and then I was like, well, yeah, oh wait, they're not different season. Yeah, they're yeah. not in the same season. I love that Rodney's so popular. Oh my God. So popular. <laughs> Everyone's interested in Rodney. And it, Ooh, sorry. it seems it continues next week. Like they're like, I the love this for, for next week. They're still like <laughs> all like, I would love a chance. Rod, please, Rodney, <laughs> give me a chance. Rodney obviously had a great personality. Yeah. And he's not a bad looking guy, but I'm shocked at his popularity. Me too. That's how I felt about Shanae too. Obviously, Rodney, <laughs> Rodney had a great showing on his season. His parents were great. Like there was nothing bad to say about Rodney. But the way they're acting about him, I don't I, I know. It's like it's like he's the president or something. Yeah. It's like Barack Obama arrived or something like that. Like Justin had some interest. I'm not even sure who, like, it's a comp for Rodney. It's like so universally liked. Yeah. And also, like, <laughs> he's definitely handsome. And I guess he probably has a good personality, but he's not like so hot. That's why I was like Barack Obama. It's like being yeah. excited about someone's full person. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. just his, like, his hotness. And even the guys were like, oh, Rodney's going to be an, a problem. Everyone yeah. loves Rodney. I'm like, <laughs> Who is this guy? And it made me think when Nate did his interview on Nick, Nick Biles, Biles. Yeah. He was just like the one person who like really got me through it was Rodney. I think Rodney's like a, a great, great guy. Great person. Yeah. Got it. Maybe we should try to interview Rodney. Get a, get I would some love. Of, get some of that vibe. I feel, yeah. I feel like he seems like he's like the magnetic person. Yeah. Like, obviously he's good looking, but not like I, shocking. Yeah. I think that he has like a, a vibe that everyone's like, oh yeah, I want to be around that. He did seem fun with Michelle. Like when they did yeah. the, oh, yeah. the pizza lasagna yeah, yeah. thing, he couldn't name the food. <laughs> and he's the, the apple thing. Like yes. he does seem really fun. Like yeah, just, that is true. Like a good vibes guy. Yeah. He did seem like he was funny and like down to like have a good time. Yeah. But it's just interesting, like, his his walk down to the beach, I haven't seen a more, like, people with Aaron and, what's his name? Ugh, James. James. I don't know why I can't remember his name. Because he's a nothing. Kind of forgettable, Who's, yeah. Yeah, he literally is, he's, like, no personality. Aaron I have no interest. Aaron dominates that duo. What's the deal with this facts thing? I understand, like, big facts is, like, a, like, a thing people say, but wasn't that a few years ago? Yeah, no, and, I think it's, like, a thing Aaron has said, and so now he's just, like, over saying it. It's the lamest thing possible. Well, it's not surprising. So um, lame. I really don't care for him. I don't just, I feel nothing. He, well, Aaron and James, when they came down, it was like, oh my God, they're so hot. They're actually hot. But it wasn't like, I don't find them attractive at all. You did find Aaron attractive. At one point, but no, I no longer <laughs> do. <laughs> I guess he's like, objectively handsome. I also just, I'm not he's really, tall. Uh, yes, I am also, just like not that into muscles. someone. Yeah, not that into muscles. I'm like, yeah. you have to constantly work out. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like, that's not for me. Not for me either, even though obviously my husband works out every day. But that's um, different. He also yeah. doesn't look like that. No, 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 he doesn't. He's not like a meathead. <laughs> he also, it's like part of his job. Yeah. I, so, well, we'll see. We'll see what he does afterwards. But Rodney's walk down was different. It wasn't just hot, it was like, please. Lord, give let Rodney take me on a date. That's what I thought every woman was thinking when he walked down to the beach. Like, that was their reaction. I know. I, I like it. I'm just like, this is great. I, are the good guys going to win out this season? I mean, that's where we're headed. 
Clearly. Mike, Michael A. Shining. Seems like a good guy. Brandon. Brandon. Thriving. Do you think it's the him and Serene will stick? Uh, she seemed, yeah. She seemed excited about Rodney, though. Yeah, but she wasn't even like... She she was one of the women that were like, everybody wants a date from Rodney. But she wasn't like, oh, I want a date from him. I think that they're like engaged right now. Maybe. They seem so serious. They're it's been both two so, days. I know. Maybe we're on day three now. It's been 72 hours of paradise. But they, I don't know if they necessarily <laughs> said this, but they clearly were talking beforehand yeah. and had just not, had not met, met before. And I don't know. They seem like... Very content. They yeah. seem like a mature couple that's just like, let's watch everyone else because we're good. <laughs> They're really into watching. He seems like he's having a great time. Yeah. she. I always liked her. We always liked her. Love her. But he seems just like way... Like, I would have expected him to be crying Romeo's tears, but he seems like no. he's having a great time. I don't yeah. know. Bre- Brendan just seemed like a weakling to me. So... I really like him. But yeah. Michael A. Shining. Brandon. Shining. Rodney. Shining. Let's talk about Teddy and Andrew and what the fuck happened there. So clearly he had his eye on her and vice versa. Prior. Prior. They may have met. It's not clear. I think they probably did because they didn't like say anything about having never met. Also, I think she's a Midwest. Oh, no, she's from California. I think that maybe maybe they met in like a huge group or something like barely met or whatever. And then they were talking via whatever social but never like actually hung out and so there was like a big anticipation of like oh this is gonna be a time where we can like actually get to know each other and be with each other that happens and they're just like oh it's not there yeah i i guess and i think that he probably was like willing to just pursue it a little bit he's probably like really attracted to her yeah and she was just not feeling it yeah also i'm wondering because of her reaction only because of her reaction because it makes no sense I'm like, I wonder if they spoke a lot prior to. Yeah. And then she wasn't feeling it. Yeah. It was and like so upsetting. she was just like, I can't believe that like, I don't like she really, really wanted it to be something. That would be like if our podcast right now was going really <laughs> badly after talking a lot over text and Zoom. And then just having like nothing. no chemistry. <laughs> yeah. I feel like obviously she wants to get married. That's, I mean, she's. She sense. also may want to have sex and yeah. feel comfortable having sex. <laughs> yeah. So, but even in it, she's like, I want to get married. I like, she's very focused on that. Yeah. So I think it might have been a little heartbreaking for her to be like, fuck, I oh, really thought this here. was going to be yeah. something special. Like, especially since like, essentially, like, I don't think a lot of these people go on the show being like, I'm going to be engaged. It's yeah. just a different format. But I think she did. Yeah. And she, yeah, she probably was just like, cool, we have a foundation here. Let's just see if it works in person. And like, we could literally get engaged at the end of this and I'd be so happy about that. I didn't really follow what she was saying about the breakup. Like, I just was kind of, of, or it wasn't even a breakup, but like, just like not wanting to pursue things. I guess she was just saying she didn't feel it, right? Like, it just wasn't strong enough for her. Yeah, which also I think Andrew didn't feel it either. And he just didn't didn't want to to, like address it. Yeah, yet. I don't really get why she left. She ghosted her friends. Everyone. I know, except for Andrew. The only person she didn't ghost. No, she didn't tell Andrew she was leaving. No, but she did, like, talk to him. Yeah, but still, (laughs) Andrew was like, wait, what? She left? I understand ghosting from a bar on a night out, but, like, to pack your stuff and leave, it's pretty pretty extreme. I don't really... Uh, I think it's very extreme. And then, also, it was clearly late, you know. But I don't get... Why couldn't you just, like, pull Serene and be like, I'm just... I don't... It would have been great for the audience to know, too. Yeah. But, like, pull Serena and be like, I don't feel well about staying here. Like, I'm or really Or just upset. be like, Serena, I'm done. Or yeah. whatever it is. But yeah, yeah, just I'm a ghost. Leaving. It's so weird. Also, so you could tell that Serene was just like, she went up to Andrew. She's like, you don't have to tell me, but I'm just really confused. Like, what happened? Yeah. You could see her being like, am I, I have to be missing something. Yeah, like, was there a breakdown here? Or yeah. something like that. And she didn't even really break down. So yeah. it's just... Weird. I also like Jill was crying. I guess she's everyone's drunk, right? If it's if the sun yeah, is down, I need, I need to th- keep reminding yeah. because there's so many reactions to things where I'm just like, but it's just like, what is happening? Yeah, it's a combination of like being in the in the fish tired, tank, tired, hot, drunk. Yes, and like they've been like, there's nothing to do but hang out and drink. So. But I wonder, like, watching this back, is Jill like, why am I crying? I I genuinely don't know how these people function. I. I <laughs> First of all, I was thinking about being in a bathing suit on camera. Uh, how do people... We've talked about this. I think, like, how is there no yeast infection? Yeah. And just, like, 
How do they do it day after day? I don't know. Like, like I, also, like, there's not a day where you're just like, you know what? I'm wearing sweatpants. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> I need to put on a giant t-shirt. Like, yeah. that would be, like, when I'm really hot, I'm just like, giant t-shirt. That's, that's, I'm good, good here. And like, I just don't understand. Also, the drinking. Yeah. Like, Michael A., he's 38 years old. I... No, he's feeling rough in the mornings. I'd like to yeah, hear about his hangovers. Think, it doesn't seem like he's drunk. It seems like he's more so just like, kind of like Brandon. Like Brandon doesn't ever seem drunk. Mm-hmm. I feel like him Maybe and, the happy ones are drinking less. Him and Serene seem to be like, this is awesome people watching. Yeah. There was one point where something was happening and he like brought food down. <laughs> and he was just like. <laughs> yeah. And they were just like eating, watching the fight in front of him. I think it was like Jill and Kira fighting or something. But, like, I think for the those people, they're just like, yeah, we all, no, something's going to go down. Just like, you're to take it in. Yeah. I, that part does seem fun. We're just, like, sitting around. And, yeah. But, and, like, even Casey said that one morning. He was like, a lot. I'm hurting this morning. Like, that was a lot. I got my nipples rubbed by four different people last <laughs> night. I liked that. Like, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really sure. I also wouldn't want to put on makeup every day. But oh, you do see a little either. bit of that fade. Yeah. Well, also, they sweat it off. Yeah. Also, they're on camera No, no, I mean, so like, th- as Paradise goes on, yeah, they, like, are there's, like, random women that, like, just will be like, I'm not wearing makeup today. Yeah. A couple more things. Jared and Ashley. Just didn't need that at all. <laughs> also, like, for them, it just seems super unfun. Like, they they leave their kid. They leave their home. They just, like, they have to go to Paradise. I hope they don't have to sleep there. I mean, they're getting paid. I know, but, like, I don't know. Doesn't doesn't seem ideal to me. They they seem really happy, which is nice. But like, yeah, I don't know. I didn't need it. I don't care. Me neither. Really didn't need it. And no also, interest. like, they don't really know many of those people. No, they literally don't know any of them. Yeah. So, so I'm like, like, it's not even like fun for them. They might know Luce, but other other Luce. than her, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> other than her, I don't know if they know anyone. They suck. I but, just, they but, don't suck. I take that back. I actually really, they're really nice people, but like there's just not, nothing, not additive to Bachelor but by Paradise. by the way, there's not, I don't think there's like a couple that I'd want to come back. Me neither. Cause I don't care. Like yeah. we're, we're moving on. I was thinking between that and the Wells bit mm-hmm. could have saved us 40 minutes. <laughs> could have been a one episode week. Yeah, Absolutely. We just didn't need a lot of it. There was something else that I was like, we definitely didn't need this either. Shoot. I can't remember. But Ashley and Jared, when they arrived, also, I'm like, is this your first time meeting Jesse Palmer? Yeah. There was a few people that Jesse was like, good to see y'all. And I'm like, you've never met them. <laughs> like, he wasn't there for Katie's season, right? Yeah. He he was not. No, yeah. that, was, that was Tasha yeah, and so- Caitlin. Tasha and Caitlin was his first season? No, that, that no. Tasha and Caitlin did Katie's season. His first season oh, was, right, right, right. was Clayton. Yeah, so like all the people from Katie's season where he's like, what's up, man? Yeah. I'm like, when did you guys meet? Aaron called him J-Pom, and I was just like, no, we're not <laughs> doing that. No, thank you. No, yeah, thanks. It's, it's, there was just, there's a few moments where I was like, edit that out. Yeah. Why are we here? Yeah. <laughs> Hard pass. You know who I do, which... I know you're interviewing him later. Yes, Wells. But I think Wells is doing really well. Me too. This is Wells' best season to date. Yeah. He's he's additive. He's mm-hmm. funny. Yeah. Seems to have found his footing. Also, he's doing like a little narration. He's like... Like, I thought it was interesting. Like, he was like, Romeo is drowning right now. He keeps making... If there's a good and a bad decision, he just keeps hitting bad. <laughs> but he's like, but at the same time, like, the point of Paradise is to come and meet new people and we are only on hour 47 (laughs) so like a lot of time to go yeah that's why I think like I don't think Justin did anything wrong Genevieve was losing her mind agreed he she just was completely overreacting she after she got the rose she was like I'll never act like that again yeah I know she probably realized she did realize also again like to your point she might have been drunk she might have been I I like her she's like total She's a good, she's Total a good girl. watch. She's good just, watch. yeah. I, you know, we've all, we've all been there. Unfortunately, she's doing it on TV. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, okay, it's a so familiar story. She's the perfect example of, I'm sure she went down to the beach wanting to be a Britney. Yes. And she just like and lost it for a little bit. Unfortunately, she's a Genevieve. Yeah. <laughs> we can't all be Britney. But like, I, I would imagine probably in real life, she's more like a Britney on a day to day. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Agreed. But like, you know. She had too much to drink. Although, she was on day two. She did too much. Whatever. I don't know. Based on some of the other facts I've heard about her, like people she hangs out with in LA and like sort Who of like her scene. 
I just like know that she's like kind of like I, I think she's like more high strung than Britney. That's just all. That's just oh my well. Impression. I mean, yeah. I mean, Britney seems to be like cool as a cucumber yeah. through all this. Like we can't a good all be Britney. Chunk that I thought for sure she was going home. I was like, she has no connections. Britney, like, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and never was she stressed. No, she <laughs> she was just like taking it all for what it is. That she's great. By the way, that's attractive. Yeah, exactly. And also, she just if everyone else has like this manic energy and she's like really calm, like of course you're going to be drawn towards. Yeah, that. if I was a partner. Like, if I'm one of the people looking for someone, I'm looking for the person that acts like that. Yeah, and you're just like, okay, Obviously. can definitely, like, spend time with you and we can see how it goes or whatever. Please so, believe. Yeah. If my husband was on this show, he would get zero airtime. <laughs> I think that zero. speaks well of him. Don't you yeah. want someone who's getting zero airtime? No, that's air what I'm time? saying. Like, yeah. Britney would be someone I would choose. Yeah, absolutely. Can we talk about Johnny and Victoria? Because that was a, that was a was surprise. So random. So random. The, we didn't really like so random, but Johnny's been struggling. Has he? Like, yeah. With what? He's not been great so far. <laughs> He's given us nothing. He hasn't really like. I think last week we were, I was like, I gave him an excuse where I was like, he just came from filming. So I yeah. get why he's like a little laid back and like you're not like we haven't really seen any personality from Johnny. None. So I, I like, think Bailey, Haley Bailey, that's who he was. I yeah. think that was like his only option. Yeah, it was just like a backup. She was pursuing him. Haley Bailey really wanted to stay. So I think she was trying to figure out what who could give her a rose. She went after <laughs> she went after Johnny. And so Johnny was just like, all right, whatever. Because he's definitely yeah. taking a backseat. Yeah, he's the like only waiting for reason someone to come. The Victoria thing happened is because Victoria was also like, Yeah, okay, let me figure out my options. Johnny. Like it was it was the women going towards but actually, Him. it was Haley, Haley Bailey and Logan. And then Logan goes with Shanae. On yeah, that date. then Haley Bailey went to Johnny, right? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, and then remember at the rose ceremony, she was like, we'll see if he's going right. to pick me or Victoria. And right. then I think, I don't remember who she was sitting with. Maybe Casey or Brandon, where she was like, oh, they're kissing. And they were like, do you want to move so you're not in direct eyesight? It was Hunter, not Haley Bailey. Hunter! Bailey. Hunter and Johnny. Thank Hunter, you to Jay Hunter, 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 Hunter. Yeah. Another it, version of Haley Bailey. I know. Just like <laughs> these blondes with long hair who didn't speak that much. Didn't give me I'm glad hint. Hunter's gone because I don't want any more IBS. IBS toilet paper jokes. Although this, these two episodes, or no, one episode. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't mention it, but like we didn't even see her. She's just like, Hunter might be too normal. Hunter's out. Yeah, yeah, she is too normal. She's good friends with Kate, also normal. So. Oh, okay, then yeah. So I can see why she didn't last long. So yeah, so Hunter's gone, but I think Johnny was completely in the backseat and was just waiting for someone to come drive. <laughs> Victoria is definitely a driver. <laughs> definitely. She was like, I'm probably not going to get one from Justin, so let me just go 100% lock this thing down so I'm here next week. Also, like, there's just nothing that's really interesting about Hunter. I mean, about Johnny. I'm just like... Yeah, is he fun? No, I mean, he's the only option. Which I'm based off what we saw. I'm hope. Well, I guess Sally's coming. I don't want Justin to go home. So I'm like, Justin, you gotta. I think Sally in. is coming. Yeah, by yeah. The way. yeah. They said she was on the previous yeah. next week. So I'm like, Justin, you gotta move and shake to make sure that you're still here, bud. <laughs> Well, so, Genevieve is shifting to Aaron. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Genevieve's, Genevieve's leaving, so now like let's get moving. So now I'm like, you have. I think he could take Victoria back in a heartbeat because I think she's only with Johnny for the rose. And now Sally's coming down. So I'm hopefully one of those two. I'm worried about Andrew. Like, who's Andrew getting a rose from? He's he needs is a Andrew new woman. Andrew not just going home. I, I, I just, yeah, I think he is. Yeah, I think I, he just. And, no, I, I thought think he'd that be a bigger star. I think he's leaving. Like, I don't think he's getting sent home. I oh, think he's, he's just leaving. Self-exit. I think he would get a rose. I'm wondering if he doesn't have a lot of sexual energy in person. Hmm. I could see that where he's just like really fun, a vibes guy. Maybe you'd think that no sexual energy would go with Teddy. It's <laughs> a great right? point. <laughs> but maybe she's looking for someone to take the lead. She needs like her yeah. male Victoria, basically. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I like Andrew still. Yeah, of course. He, me too. He also is coming across too normal. Yeah, I think that he also is coming across really young, honestly. Like, I think that compared to some of the other dudes, like even like Logan, who I didn't have a high impression of, he just sort of seems like a little bit more... Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen with him. Yeah, choosing between Shanae. Or Shanae is choosing between him and yeah, I James. I mean, he... Well... We, we know saw he, previous, Kate, yes, yeah. yeah. So I can't like, wait. How is he staying? I know there's so many things. Can't wait for Kate to arrive to make out with Logan. I feel like I know Kate, though I've only spoken to her once. So I'm like, oh my God, Kate, yeah. 
I mean, I've spoken to her more than once, but yeah, you do know her. I do not. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't spoke to her in a long time and whatever. But if you know, it is interesting. What prior to the show, we weren't like huge fans of Logan, but now seeing him, yeah, I like him. And also knowing that Kate ends up with him, yeah. I'm like, he must actually just be a nice guy. Yeah, and probably like pretty fun. And yeah, whatever. He seems pretty normal. Oh my god, I forgot to tell you, he has like a song on Spotify. He's like. Logan? Yes. He he's like trying to be a singer. Wait, speaking of Logan, this is completely off topic. Completely off topic. Okay. But I saw, I guess semi on since Gabby's on the show, but I saw on TikTok on my way over here that Tyra last night it was like, My friends, Courtney and Travis, are in the crowd. They're here to support Charlie, D'Amelio, because they're uh yeah, Travis's Demilio. son. She was like, Travis's son, Logan, is dating Charlie and his name is Landon. And it was like this big thing. What? I'm yeah. so confused. Tyra called him Logan. <laughs> but his name is Landon. Yeah, and people were upset. <laughs> that's funny. People were upset. But I was like, that's, you know, not that bad of a mistake. But probably like, are, isn't it semi-scripted? Like, how is there not like a teleprompter telling you? There definitely is a teleprompter. Telling her that Although maybe she went Landon. off script. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I also forgot she was on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, she's the host. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Mm-hmm. Cool. Gabby's still killing it. Logan, his name is Logan Siegel, and it's spelled like the Siegel, S-E-A-G-U-L-L. Mm. I assume that's not the actual spelling of his name, and he changed it, but his song is called Machine Heart. It has 6,412 plays on Spotify, <laughs> so check it out. Kind of like an emo, like indie song I listened to it once and if you played it for me now I would not be able to identify it but yeah Logan is like just trying to be a singer songwriter I guess and that's why he lives in LA yeah it's recent I don't even know how I found this I just was like went down the Logan rabbit hole essentially oh yeah it's definitely recent and it's a lot of plays it's from yeah I know it's like 6,000 yeah (laughs) it's from September 23rd right when The Bachelorette ended so you know, this man was per- is is pursuing fame. I just think we need to keep that in mind. Yeah, that's not great. <laughs> no. All right, take back everything I just said. <laughs> well, you know, he's making it work for him. W- listen to the song. We can uh, review it next week. But he, I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to believe in him until Kate tells me otherwise. I wonder if they're, like, still hooking up. I mean, we'll see. They might be engaged. I doubt that. Don't I you doubt, doubt that? it, yeah, but it, they could be. They guess, yeah, I guess they could. Maybe you do it for the ring. Just be like, yeah, we'll date and then see how long we can save, keep the ring for. Based on where we are right now. Yeah. How many engagements do you see this season? Definitely Brendan and Serene. Mm-hmm. Isn't his name Brandon? Brandon. Yeah, yeah. it's Brandon. Sorry. Okay, just... She's got all of the E's. I was like giving him an extra E yeah. too. Brandon and Serene. <sighs> Who else? Oh, then. I feel like, I don't know. Hmm. What do you think? I mean, I here think... Here are the other here are the other couples right now. Victoria F. and Johnny. No. Haven't heard him speak more than like 30 no. seconds at a time or like yeah. three seconds at a time. So That's a no for me. We also have maybe Justin and Genevieve. No. We maybe have Aaron and Genevieve. Maybe. No. I don't think so. <laughs> Aaron's not getting engaged. <laughs> maybe. I'm going to put a maybe on them. Okay. James and Shanae. No. Rodney and someone. Maybe. I know. Rodney seems like a maybe to Yeah, me. maybe. It just seems like no one wants to get engaged anymore, so like that's kind of a barrier, but... But this is, show has had a fair share of engagements. What about Michael and Sierra? Yeah, that's the one. Where I'm like, if they do, I think it's like for real. Yeah, I, I don't see him getting engaged unless like he means it, but... Yeah. Can, can he get engaged off three weeks on Paradise? That's not my question. My like, question are they still is, together? No, no, no. My question is... Would he get engaged without introducing his son? I think no. Yeah, I don't think so. I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. I mean, even like, don't you need to see? I wonder, maybe they're, I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But if they actually stay together through all of this. I mean, I would be really impressed. But that would be cool. I think they do. I hope so. But I I think they do. But I just can't imagine him getting engaged without her meeting his son without her meeting his son so I'm like would they bring the son on I hope not I don't think that's something he would do either yeah I don't think he would put his son on TV 
Like, even his Instagram isn't, like, filled with his son. They showed pictures of him last week, I think, which they didn't do the first time, but he's older, so, like, almost two years older, but... So what, like, eight? Yeah, six? or six, yeah. something yeah. like that. But still, I'm just like, maybe he's a little bit more comfortable or maybe. something. Maybe. But also, like, he's done this before, so maybe his he, his son understands it a little bit better and isn't... Right. You know what I mean? Like, my daughter wouldn't get it if I went on right now. Mm-hmm. But I think if I went on right now and then did it again in two years, she would understand. Right. Right. Well, she would already know about narwhals in case you encountered <laughs> anyone who had a narwhal tattoo. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. That's the, that's the other couple. Right now, though, like, even just trying to predict the future based off trailers, I'm going to go with four. Ooh. Who yeah. else? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Well, it's a great... Four is my guess. Great prediction. Yeah. Uh, that would be great for ABC. I think they'd be happy about that. I think Brandon and Serena are like, lock. I do, too. I, do. I think he's ready. I think she's ready. And they've seemed like they've just found each other. There might be a bump in the road that makes them stronger, but they're, they're a lock. <laughs> I'm more surprised more guys aren't just trying to, like, get with her. She's so hot. Yeah, but she seems very, like, no, I'm good with Brandon. Yeah. And also, maybe they all like Brandon, so they don't want to, like... Yeah. He does seem like a a fan favorite among the guys. Yeah, seriously. All right. You're on record picking four engagements. Well, I guess we'll find out. I'll be back with Wells on Thursday and we'll be back next week. Callie, doing this in person is such a delight. Yeah, I really enjoyed. Me too. So much- Minus the rainy weather walk. Sure. That won't always be. Yeah. Thanks to Jade Whaley for correcting us when we needed her and for producing this episode. We'll be back next week. <laughs> 